Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be putting together 10 transitional neutral outfits. So all of these outfits will be perfect at the moment while the weather's still nice and warm, but then we'll also transition really well into autumn just by changing up one or two pieces. Um, as usual, all of the outfits will be linked below in the description box, along with any discount codes available as well. Um, but most of them are quite simple looks as well, so hopefully should be really easily recreated with pieces you already own. If you do enjoy the video and you are new here, I would love it if you could subscribe. And I will also pop my Instagram up on the screen if you'd like to follow me over there for daily outfit inspo. But let's get going with outfit number one. Okay, so this is the first outfit. So for this look, I've got on this linen shirt from Mango. This is 100% linen, but it doesn't feel like typical linen, like a linen shirt would. It almost feels slightly like a fine knit. I will insert a close-up of the fabric so you can see it better, but it almost has a little bit of a stretch to it, not like a typical kind of crisp linen shirt. I've teamed it up with these chinos from ASOS. These are currently in the sale for under £20. I think they were around £15, which I thought was a really, really great price for a nice pair of chinos. And they also come in petite and tall as well. But this is the, this is the regular length and I've just rolled them up twice at the bottom. Um, on my feet, I've just got on my gorgeous Everlane sandals, which I wear so, so much. But this outfit would work with any kind of sandal and then obviously coming into autumn i would style it with maybe trainers or a loafer for a little bit more warmth um, my bag is from polen and again works really well with the tones of the outfit my earrings are from majuri and these are a new style at majuri i absolutely love them they almost give the illusion of having two hoops in um, and they're really light and comfortable as well despite being quite chunky they feel really lightweight in and they also come in sterling silver as well and i will have a discount code for my jewelry which will be in the description box below for 10 percent off everything and i'm going to be styling up lots of different beautiful pieces of majuri jewelry throughout this video my necklace is also a new release at majuri and it's this beautiful gold vermeil locket and because it's gold vermeil it's a really great price point but still beautiful quality and then i've got on a gold dome ring this gold vermeil chunky ring as well. And then I've also got on this thin gold bangle as well. Just a really beautiful thin bangle. It also comes in a thicker option as well. Um, and then to take this outfit into autumn, I would switch up the footwear. And then I've also popped on this trench coat from Everlane. And although this is kind of like edging on being like a khaki colour, I feel like it still kind of counts as neutral and it works really well with the tones of this outfit, especially the trousers. I feel like the trousers and the trench coat complement each other really well and it finishes off the outfit perfectly and makes it a little bit more appropriate for slightly cooler days. Okay, for this next outfit, I've got on this chunky cardigan from ASOS. And I feel like this is a style of cardigan that works really well all year round. It's perfect on a day like today where it's kind of warm, but not too warm. Um, because it's, although it's chunky, it still feels quite loose and lightweight and comfortable. And it's not, not too much of a heavy knit. Um, but then also coming into autumn, you could lay out underneath it, you could lay out over the top of it as well. Um, yeah, I think it's a really great transitional piece. I've teamed it up with these cream jeans. I know they look quite white on camera, but they're definitely more of like an off-white cream. And I felt like they definitely kind of fit into the neutral-ish category. Um, they're just a really lovely pair of kind of like slim straight leg jeans. They're from Everlane. And I've just folded them up once at the bottom. And I just think that they work really well with the cardigan. And then I've got the same sandals on as before, but obviously coming into autumn, winter, you could change up the footwear for trainers or boots or loafers. And then I've got my cream coach bag as well. And again, it just works really well with all of like the warm, neutral tones. Um, and then jewelry wise, I've got on the same bracelet as before. I've popped on this kind of chunky croissant bangle, which this is one of the first pieces I ever got from Majuri and I have worn it so, so much. And then for my rings, I popped on this stack of gold and diamond rings and I wear these pretty much every day. I love how they look together. I love how the diamonds catch the light. They're just absolutely beautiful pieces. And because they're gold, it means that I can kind of sleep in them, wash in them. And then this beautiful sparkly diamond ring is a new addition to my collection and it is just stunning. I'm not sure how well it's, how well it's going to catch the light on camera, 
but under like down lights, when I'm in the kitchen under the down lights, it sparkles so much. It catches the light beautifully um, and it's just stunning. And it also works really well stacked with this one. It's a similar shape to this dome one. So they look really lovely stacked together as well. And then I've also got on this gorgeous gold tag necklace, which is also new from Majuri. And I've actually had this engraved with an L for Lou. It gave me the option um, to have it engraved. I think you could have up to three letters, but I just went for an L and I think it just looks so lovely and subtle. Like you can only really see it close up. Um, and I think this would make such a lovely gift for someone. And I love the style of the chain as well. It's really different. And then I've also just clipped my hair back with this chunky tortoiseshell hair clip just to finish off the look. And then to dress and look up slightly, I've just changed the sandals up for these cream strappy heels from And Other Stories. And I've also taken the clip out just to kind of elevate the look a little bit more. And this is how I would style it if I was maybe wearing it of an evening, out to dinner. Um, yeah, I think it works really well like this as well. Okay, for this next outfit, I've just kept it really simple and I've got on a white linen shirt from Everlane and these beige pleated trousers from ASOS. Um, this shirt I wear so, so much in the summer, but I feel like coming into kind of autumn, winter, this outfit would work really well with maybe just a simple cotton shirt rather than the summery feel of a linen shirt. Um, love these trousers. I think they're really, really lovely style, super comfortable, under £20, and they almost look like a sort of goldy neutral, but they're not, they're completely matte, they've got no shimmer to them at all. Um, yeah, just a really comfortable pair of trousers, super stretchy, and they've got an elasticated waistband as well and i've just started up with these chunky sandals from and other stories just to give a little bit of height because they're slightly too long on me to be worn with flats and then again i've started up with my coach bag and i've also popped on this matching bracelet and necklace from Majuri as well and i've had this set for a while now but it's one of my favorite sets from Majuri. it's gold verme and i just love the style of the chain i think it's gorgeous um, and then I've got the same rings on as before, and I've also just popped in these tiny little delicate huggy hoops as well, which I think work perfectly with the slightly more statement necklace and bracelet. And then coming into autumn, I would also style this outfit with a long cardigan over the top, like this one from And Other Stories. Um, but I also think that the trousers would look really good with a chunky, oversized cream or beige roll neck jumper for another neutral autumn outfit. Okay, this next outfit is definitely more of a warm, kind of yellowy toned neutral outfit. And so I've gone for warmer, more tanny sort of beige accessories like shoes and bag to work with it. Um, so first of all, I've just got on a simple V-neck t-shirt from ASOS. And like I said, this is in a very kind of warm, beigey tone. Um, and usually I would say probably works better with more like yellowy, warm kind of olive skin tones rather than cooler skin tones. Um, jeans are from Everlane and again a very quite quite a warm beigey tone gosh how many times can I say warm <laughs> um, and then I put, popped on these tan leather sandals from Amazon fashion these are a really really great pair of tan sandals if you're looking for like I know we're getting to the end of summer now but if you're looking for a really nice pair of tan leather sandals I really recommend these and they're currently like I think they're about 12 pounds at the moment so really great pair of sandals um, and because they're tan, they work well with the tones of the outfit. And then I've also popped on this bag from Polen. Again, it really complements the warmth of the t-shirt. Just to compare, if I hold this bag next to the outfit, you can see that this is a much cooler neutral tone and doesn't quite work with the tones of this outfit, whereas the warmth of this bag does. And then for my jewellery, I've just changed up my earrings and my necklace. I've got my C initial necklace on. And then I popped these earrings in because I thought the style of them, the ribbed style, matched the C of the necklace really well. I think they complement each other perfectly. And then transitioning this outfit into autumn, I have switched up the sandals for some ankle boots. Um, but much like the other outfits, I think this would also work really well with trainers or loafers. Um, and then I've also popped on this camel blazer as well. This is from Topshop. And again, I think the camel tones of this really complement the warm tones of the outfit. Okay, for this next outfit, I've kept it really casual and I've got on a white vest top, beige linen shirt, beige trousers and white trainers. 
So this vest top is super lightweight and airy, perfect for this time of year while it's still warm. But coming into autumn, I would switch up for maybe a t-shirt or even a long sleeve t-shirt for a bit more warmth. Um, base linen shirt is from Amazon Fashion, really lovely quality linen shirt, nice and oversized and a lovely kind of neutral tone as well. And then I popped on these wide leg trousers from ASOS. Now, I feel like these kind of neutral tones don't work perfectly together, like the shirt's slightly more cooler and the trousers are a little bit more warm, but I think for, for now we can get away with it. But like I said, the trousers are from ASOS and they work really well styled with trainers because they are a slightly shorter length. But if you were petite, I think that these trousers would also look gorgeous styled with heels as well. Um, and then I've got on my Vajas, which I love. They work all year round. I think I might have a discount code for these that are still valid. If I do, then I will leave it in the description box below. Um, and then I've also popped on polo bag. And then for my jewellery, I've popped on this gorgeous matching bracelet and necklace, which are both new in at Majuri. And these are a similar style to the set I had on before, but the previous set is gold vermeil, whereas these are 14 karat gold. So if, I guess it depends on your budget. I feel like they give a similar look. They both, like the chains are quite similar and they both catch the light in the same way. But these are great if you're the type of person that wants to wear jewellery, not take it off and leave it on all the time. Whereas the previous set are gold vermeil, which is similar to gold plated, but a thick layer of gold rather than a thin layer. So it's better quality than gold plated, but you would need to take them off to shower and sleep just to protect the jewellery. And then to take this outfit from summer into autumn, I have switched up the linen shirt for this jacket. And this is in more of a thick, like flannelette fabric, so it gives you a lot more warmth. Perfect for transitioning the look into autumn. Um, and then I would keep the footwear the same, but like I said before, you could switch up the vest for a t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt um, for a little bit more warmth in the autumn. For this next outfit, I've got on this taupe knitted dress from And Other Stories, bag from Polen, and tan leather sandals from Everlane again. Um, I got this dress towards, I think towards the end of spring, beginning of summer. And despite it being like a fine knit material, I have actually worn it quite a bit throughout summer because in the UK, we definitely have some cooler days. And for the cooler days, this is perfect. Just styled with sandals as quite a chilled, casual day outfit. Um, I also think that this dress or this style of dress would work really well with heels as workwear um, because it is, it's not too low and it kind of has quite a smart appearance to it as well if you, if you dressed it up. And I love the cooler, taupey tone of it as well. Taupey tone. <laughs> um, and I think it works, it still works with gold jewellery, but I think it would also work really well with silver jewellery as well. Or if you had like a cooler, more pinky skin tone, I feel like this tone of neutral would also work really well as well. And then for my jewellery, I've just popped on this chunky chain necklace and bracelet. These are both gold for May, And I've had them for, I'd say coming up to about a year now, um, but both still in perfect condition. I'm also wearing these little gold diamond studs which are just beautiful. Again I've had these for a while um, and I just thought they worked really well because they're so delicate they work really well with the chunkier necklace and bracelet. And then my favourite thing about this outfit and probably one of my favourite pieces ever from a jewellery is this beautiful diamond gold cluster ring and I feel like this speaks for itself. It is just Stunning. The way it catches the light and sparkles is just beautiful. Um, now this could be used as an engagement ring, obviously. It's a cluster of diamonds and would make the most beautiful engagement ring, but also just as a very special ring in itself. It's just stunning. It honestly sparkles so much. I feel like even in natural light it sparkles, but especially under the down lights in the kitchen, it literally like is twinkling away. Um, this also comes in white gold as well, if you prefer to wear silver or white gold. Um, and like I said, would make a beautiful engagement ring. It's just gorgeous. And then to take this outfit into autumn, I have popped on this long wool coat from And Other Stories and some tan knee-high boots from ASOS. And it feels weird putting on like a chunky wool coat this time of year because it's still really nice weather at the moment. But obviously the seasons will be changing soon. And so coming into autumn, this is how I will be styling this dress 
the long coat over the top and some nice kind of winter boots. So for this next outfit, I've gone full summer, but don't worry, it will transition into autumn as well. Um, so I've got on a linen crop top and linen trousers. These don't actually match. The top is slightly lighter than the trousers, but I thought they were a very similar tone and so they worked really well together. Um, and I love the fact that these linen trousers are super high waisted, so it just leaves like a really little gap. Although the crop top's quite small, it's only like a quite a small gap. So I feel like it quite it works quite well as a summer outfit. Um, I also started with these strappy sandals from And Other Stories that have got a bit of a chunky heel because I thought like all the creamy nude tones worked really well together, but I would also style this outfit with um, flat sandals as well as a bit more of a casual look. Um, and then I have got on my coach bag again. And for my jewellery, I've just stacked up these two necklaces. So I've got the gold tag necklace on and then the um, gold sort of chain necklace as well that matches this bracelet. Um, I've kept the same bracelet and diamond ring on as before. And then for my earrings, I've just popped in these gold beaded hoops. And these were one of my first pieces of jewellery from Majuri. And again, I've worn them so much. I love the style of them. And I've also got a matching gold beaded cuff in as well, which works really well with the earrings. Oh, and then on my head, I've just got on my Ray-Ban hexagonal sunglasses just to keep the outfit really summery. And then to finish off the outfit, I've just popped on this linen blend blazer from Everlane. And although all three of these pieces are from different places, I feel like they still work really well together as like a summer suit because they're a very similar tone like they they kind of tie in nicely together and I love love how they look together um, this blazer I've worn so so much it's from Everlane but I think it may be sold out by now but if it is then I will try and leave some similar ones linked below um, but yeah, lovely kind of like simple summer suit. And then to transition this outfit into autumn, I have just popped on this gorgeous taupe cashmere jumper for a little bit of warmth, another layer. And again, the tone works really well with the color of the blazer and the trousers. Um, and then I've just switched up the sandals and popped on my beiges to keep the outfit quite casual. I feel like trainers start with this type of suit just makes it feel a little bit more casual and perfect for during the day but if you're not a fan of styling trainers then i feel like this look would also work really well with maybe some loafers or just a simple pair of like ballet pumps um just to give it a slightly smarter look next up i've got on another dress and again i've tried to style it quite summery to start off with so first of all i popped it on with this straw bag and i feel like this keeps it quite casual perfect for during the day and quite summery and chilled and then I've also got on my Everlane sandals again. And then I also just popped this leopard print silk hair tie in as well, just to keep, just to keep the look quite chilled. Um, this dress is from ASOS. I will leave it linked if it's still available, but I would just say that the sleeves are super tight. So there's hardly any elastic around the wrist, whereas I quite like to pull my sleeves up. Um, but that's about as far up as I can get them. So just bear that in mind if you are, if you do love the dress and you're wanting to order it. For my jewellery, I've got on most of the same pieces as before, but I've also just popped in these chunky gold hoops. And I absolutely love the style of these. I love how chunky they are, but I would just mention that they are quite heavy in comparison to some of the other chunky hoops that I've shown you. And then I have also got on another beautiful diamond ring. And again, this would make the most perfect wedding ring or eternity ring um, it's absolutely stunning it has got diamonds all the way round um, but equally it would just be lovely on its own I have stacked it with this one as well just to show how how they would look if you were having them as like an um, engagement ring and a wedding band um, but equally they look like I said they look lovely separately as well I just think it's such a pretty ring and the diamonds are so sparkly and then to add a little bit of warmth and transition this outfit into autumn I've just popped it on with this chunky cropped cardigan from ASOS and I love how dresses like this look styled with either a chunky cardigan or a chunky roll neck or just a simple jumper just to add a little bit more warmth and give a completely different look to a dress I think it almost looks like you're wearing a jumper and a midi skirt um, and then on my feet, I've just got on my beige again, just because they were kind of the only footwear I had that worked with this look. A lot of my winter boots are up in the loft at the moment, but I have got a pair of taupe over the knee boots that would work really well 
underneath the dress as well i think they'd they'd look really good but for now trainers coming into autumn work great um and then i've also got on this little snake skin crossbody bag from mango okay this next outfit is just a super simple look i've got on a brownie beige t-shirt beige wide leg jeans and like a beigey nude pair of heels. Um, t-shirt is from Everlane, just a really super lightweight airy t-shirt. I've spoken about this before on my channel. I've got it in a few different colors and they're just lovely, lightweight and just hang really nicely. Perfect for summer, but also great layering all year round. Um, jeans are a wide leg, slightly cropped finish, but I feel like this outfit is so simple that it could be recreated with any, any kind of beigey t-shirt and beige jeans. My shoes are from And Other Stories. And then the bag is from Reese. I actually got this bag from ASOS. Just a really simple little crossbody and I thought the colour of it worked perfectly with the t-shirt. Um, oh, and jewellery, I have just stacked up some necklaces. So I've got the same two as I had on before, but I've also just popped on my little C diamond necklace as well. And I love how these necklaces look on their own but also they work so well stacked together as well. I love how you can kind of mix and match different lengths. And I have also stacked up some bracelets as well. So obviously all of these are from Majuri. I've shown you these three already. And then this is just a really simple little chain gold bracelet as well. Um, and yeah, again, they look really lovely on their own or stacked too. Um, oh, and I've also stacked two rings as well. I've shown you these two separately, but they're both the dome ones and I think they look lovely. Stacked together. Lots of stacking going on with this outfit. <laughs> then to take this outfit into autumn, I've just popped on a trench coat over the top. And I did initially put on the first trench coat I had on in like the khaki, kind of this sort of colour, um, because I thought it worked well with the t-shirt. But then obviously I've already worn that trench coat and I wanted to change things up a little bit. So I've gone with this kind of creamy toned, like ecru trench coat. I think it complements the tone of the trousers as well. Um, and takes the outfit into autumn. Don't get me wrong, it's not, not the warmest, but you could switch up the t-shirt for a jumper instead. And again, I've still got the sandals on. I would also change them up and wear them with some ankle boots instead for a little bit more warmth. And then for the final outfit, I've just kept it super casual and I've got on a tracksuit from Mango. Well, I say got on, I've got the jumper just draped over my shoulders because obviously while it's still summer, I would probably just style it like this. This white body is from Free People and it's in a really lovely like slinky fabric, similar to the fabric of like the high neck Zara bodies. Nice and fitted and double layered as well. Um, and then on my feet I have got on these Adidas trainers and these are the most comfortable trainers ever. They're so cushioned and squidgy. Um, but I would say to size maybe half a size up. I'm usually a four and a half and I'm wearing them in a five and they, because they run a little bit small. And then I've also got my coach bag on again. And for my jewellery, I've just kept it quite simple. Well, I say simple. I'm wearing diamonds, so not really that simple, but super dainty. So I've got on the same little diamond studs as before. And then I've just layered up these two beautiful diamond necklaces. This one I wear all the time. Um, but I love how they look separately, but also they look, they look gorgeous stacked together as well and just to mention all of Majuri's diamonds are ethically sourced and they have a fair pricing system so whereas you may pay a huge markup for fine jewellery at traditional retailers Majuri's markup is a lot lower so you can get the same beautiful quality diamonds but for a fraction of the price that you may pay elsewhere. And then finally, to take this casual outfit into autumn, I have just started up with this Kotagon from Mango. And I got this, I think nearly two years ago now, but they do come out each year. They have a very similar style at Mango each year. So if this year's one's in stock yet, then I will leave it linked. Um, but if not, then keep an eye out, because I'm sure they'll be in, they'll be in store soon. Um, but it's kind of a mix between a coat and a cardigan, hence the name. So it's like got the kind of cut and the weight of a coat, but it's in a really thick, stretchy fabric and it feels really cosy to be worn as a cardigan as well. So I thought it worked perfectly with this casual outfit. Okay, so that's all 10 of the outfits. I would love to know your favourite look. If you can pick one, then do leave a comment below and let me know which outfit you like the most. Um, as I mentioned before, all of the outfits will be linked below in the description box along with 
any discount codes available um, but if you've got any questions about anything at all then just leave a comment and i will get back to you as soon as possible if you did enjoy the video i would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and if you're new here i would love it if you could subscribe um, but yeah thank you so so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you again in my next video bye